cognitive behavioral therapy that is used in a lot of uh, psychological issues in depression, in treating depression, a lot of a whole slew of other issues. And this idea comes from the book Feeling Good by Dr. David Burns. Here's the way it works. Anytime you're feeling something negative, anytime you're feeling these challenging emotions, usually it started with a thought. A thought has led to these negative emotions. If you are feeling fearful in a situation, let's say an example of a situation that you might be fearful in, and that's a very common thing to be fearful about, is trying to talk to a person that you don't know yet, going and approaching someone you don't know yet and talking to them about something that is important to you. Now this might create a lot of fear inside of you, feeling of fear, feeling of anxiety, but it's all started with the thought. So what cognitive behavioral therapy is saying is, let's identify what that distorted thought is and let's treat it at its root. So there's a lot of different cognitive distortions that we all have in our brains. And there's like, in general, there are 10 different cognitive distortions. So I'm gonna to touch on a few of them here, right here to explain how the cognitive distortions are screwing up your thinking process and hence making you fearful in certain situations. So for example, when you are fearful of going up to talking, going up and talking to someone, someone who you have never met before or so, you know, maybe it's a sales call or something like that and you're scared of it well one of the things that's probably going on in your head is what if this what if i feel embarrassed what if i go up to that person and i am completely embarrassed now this what does what if, what you're actually doing is you are extrapolating this situation you're jumping to conclusions you're saying what if that worst case scenario really happens what if um, i go in and they embarrass me in front of everyone then everyone laughs at me and everyone will notice that i have just failed at talking to that person now this is the truth is you've just dumb jumped to conclusion but the, no, but you didn't need to do that all you had to say was okay i need to go talk to the person let me just go and take the first step of going and saying hi as soon as you created the conclusion that this embarrassing situation might happen now you stopped yourself instead when you identify that defeating, that self-defeating negative thought, that cognitive uh, discrepancy in your system, that cognitive distortion that you have, which is you're jumping to the end conclusion. As soon as you know you're jumping to the end conclusion, you can now scale back and say, hey, I don't need to go that far out. Let me just identify what is the next step I need to take and let's take that step. Another way to think about it is you might say, in this situation where I have to go and talk to the person, either I fail dramatically or I succeed. Either that person really likes me or that person embarrasses me. So you you make up a, this scenario in your mind, it's very like all or nothing kind of scenario. And that's a huge cognitive distortion. You probably use it in other areas. You probably distort a lot of your thoughts using this all or nothing thinking all over the place. But this is very simple to see. You're saying either I succeed or I completely fail. But as you, as you know, most of your conversations will never be a stellar success or a stellar failure. They'll be somewhere in between. Nobody's going to um, embarrass you unless you do something crazy. And nobody is going to just love you just because you go and talk to them, right? So it's not all or nothing. It's somewhere in the middle. So as soon as you realize this cognitive distortion that it's not all, it's not like either success, either grand success or grand failure, it's just something in the middle. Now you're much more likely to be able to handle this scenario. And what you wanna do, once you identify these cognitive distortions that, you're going, that are going on in your brain, now you actually write a rational response to these things. You write a response to these cognitive distortions. Hey, I see that I am thinking all or nothing. What should I think instead? Or what would be the right form of thinking? As soon as you start doing this rational, uh, rational thinking now you have a new perspective on the situation and the fear loses its grip on you the fear loses its hold on you